board are we looking at? This is the this is my Ibex for uh, Ronex for 08, and uh, I didn't have one for 07 because I really couldn't ride in 07, and I really wanted one to come out with the rest of the product that was out that year, but I wasn't able to really test a board and like legitimately like feel how the board was. So as soon as I was just able enough to to ride, I I started testing the prototypes for this, and we probably went through like six seven prototypes. So this is the final jewel. And I actually just got this probably about two, three weeks ago. So the time you get, like in between the prototype and the, the actual board when it comes out of the press after it gets uh, after it gets programmed is probably like about two, three months. So you want to ride it the whole time, and but like the prototypes are like four or five pounds heavier than the actual board. To, so to finally get the board out of the press is pretty much pretty much dream come true. I went with a three stage rocker just because I, I really feel that's the type of rocker that like fits my style because. I'm, I really, not really, like, right now I really can't go too far out to the flat, so I really want something that's really hard off the wake and that comes clean off the top, so I went with three-stage rocker. This one's actually about a half inch wider than Danny's board, and if you look at the rails, I went with a half radius rail. Danny's is a full radius, which has more of a, a smoother transition all the way through the turn, but I think this still gives you a lot of forgiveness for how sharp, for how sharp the rails are in the back. Like riding flat, you really get a lot, your fins come loose, so you really get a lot of forgiveness uh, through the belly of the board. But yet, when you throw it on edge, it has a really super thin cupped rail here in the back. And I think, I think ultimately, you really got to do two fins on a board nowadays because one fins are good for when you're starting, but like you're good, one fins are good for when you're riding flat. But if you're really edge to edge, I think it's good to have a good rail and, and a, a two fin setup. So. Kevco, you wrote it. You should turn the camera around and tell everyone what you can think about it. <laughs> Kevco wrote good on that part. Loved it. Also looks sick as shit, so. <laughs> I had the idea of, of actually taking the mold and cutting the R1 uh, logo out of the mold so that when they press it, it's actually engraved into the surface of the board. So when you lay the, when you lay the silver material over the board, it, it it contours to those to those edges that's that we engraved into the mold and really reflects like a that's what makes that R1 really jump off the board it's just the chrome top sheet mixed in with the with the contours we made into the mold so because we had this idea for like six months and then we never really knew how it was going to look we, we thought we knew how it looked and then when we finally saw it we were like thank god it looks tits because I mean we pretty much put our eggs in the basket hoping it was going to work and then Ta-da! Dude. Dude, everyone who's ridden this board has loved it. I let like two kids on my clinics like rip real hard. They rode it and loved it. Then I let like five beginners ride it. And didn't break them off too hard. What'd they say about it? They said it was like really easy just to like... They didn't feel like they needed to cut too hard. Like a lot of people like overwork a board. I think, and like this one has so much surface area, and with three stages, it, it releases and pops off the wake so good. So you really, you can really just cruise and coast on it and let the board do the work for you. So.